What if I told you that you could run full flash pen testing environment from your phone without rooting? In this video, I will going to show you exactly how you can do that with Kali Linux NetHunter. We will be going through the entire process step by step, so even you are a beginner, you can follow along. By the end of this video, you have a security testing tool in your palm of your hand. But before we begin, a quick disclaimer. This video is for educational purpose only. The tools and techniques we discuss in this video should only be used in your devices or system. You have explicit permissions to test. Now let's talk about what you will need. An Android phone, Android 12 plus supported, Termex app from Android or GitHub and internet connection. This method works around Android 12 plus and I will show you how to get around the phantom processes limitations that some newer Android versions have. Second, you will need to install an app called Termex. I highly recommend you to download it from the Android or the GitHub page. The Google Play Store version is outdated. I have links in the description below. Installing up and setting up the Termex app. Alright, first thing is you need to install the Termex app. I am going to download it from its official GitHub page. Once it's downloaded, open the APK and install it. After the installation is complete, open the Termex app. You will be greeted with the terminal window. The first thing we need to go to is update the packages. So for that, type this command and press enter. This will ensure that all the packages are up to date. Next, we need to give Termex access to your phone storage. This will allow us to save and access the files. So for that, type this command. A pop-up will appear asking for the permissions. Make sure you allow it. Next, we need to install a app called wget, which will allow us to download the files from the internet. So for that, type this command. Now press Y and enter when prompted to continue. Now that Termux is set up, it's time to install the Kali NetHunter. We are going to download the Kali NetHunter installation script from the wget. Make sure you type the address correctly. Type the following command to download the installer. Once the download is complete, we need to make sure the script is executed. We do this with the command chmod. Now we need to run the installation. For that, run this command. The script will ask you which version of NetHunter you want to install. We are going to choose option 1 for light version. The script will now download the image file. This might take a while depending on your internet connection, so be patient. After the installation is complete, we need to run the installation script again. For that, run this command. This time, it will ask you to delete the downloaded image. Press N for No. The installation will begin now. When it asks you to delete the rootfs, enter N. If you are using Android 12 or newer, you need to take one more step. Android has a feature which can kill 4 grid child processes, which can interfere with the NetHunter. To fix this, we need to enable an option in the developer settings. So for that, go to your Android setting, go to in the about section, tap on the build number 7 times. This will unlock the developers option. Now go to your main setting menu and you can now see developer settings. Now open it and scroll down until you find restrict child processes and then turn it on. Now that everything is installed and configured. Now open Kali NetHunter. To start Kali NetHunter command line interface, just type the command nh. You are now in the Kali Linux NetHunter CLI. You can run all your favorite command line tools from here. To exit, just type exit. But what about the graphical user interface? For that, you need to set up Kex. First, let's set a password for it. So for that, type this command. Enter your desired password. To start the CAC server, enter this command. This will start a VNC server and give you a port number. Remember it, it will use later. The final step is to install a VNC client, which will connect to the VNC server and see the Kali Linux desktop. Download and install the NetHunter store app. You might need to allow your browser to install app from unknown sources. Once the NetHunter store app is installed, Open it and search for Kex and install the NetHunter Kex client. Open the Kex client and create a new connection. Enter the port number you get earlier and the password you set earlier. Save the connection and then tap on it to connect. And there you have it. A full Kali Linux desktop environment running on your phone without routing. You can now use all your graphical tools come with Kali NetHunter. 
So that's how you can install Kali Net Hunter on your phone without root access. Now you have a powerful and portable security testing environment right in your pocket. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And lastly, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching till the end.